is Hilary Atkinson from parkbench.com and I'm here with Tarek Baguette from Seasons Pizza in Cherry Hill. Thank you so much for being here with me. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Welcome to our store. Thank you. Happy to be here. So I guess just to get started, how long have you been here? At this current location, I think we, we opened January of 2010. Okay. So a little over 11 years now. And how has business been for the past 11 years? I mean, it's been great. The community has been very supportive. Uh, obviously, there's ups and downs in every mm -hmm. business. Uh, the beginning was a little hard, then people started to know us. And, uh, and then uh, it was a great ride, and then the pandemic happened. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And we will get to that, but I'm curious on a little bit of the background. What made you want to open up, you know, this type of uh, business? Pizza, pasta, wings, you know? Well, Seasons Pizza is a small company that started in Delaware, and during college, I uh, started working as a delivery driver with Seasons Pizza. You got your start yes, as a, as delivery, a delivery, driver. delivery driver, and now you have your own operation. Yes, yes, and luckily back then the company was growing rapidly, and I basically grew with it, and I opened my Stratford location in 2007, and opened this location in 2010. So you know the ins and outs. I did it all, from <laughs> the dishes, to the driving, to the pizza, yes. Okay, definitely gives you an interesting look on the business. You know about every side, you know the pros and the cons, you know what all the different employees are going through, whether they're making Absolutely. a salad, whether they're out driving. Absolutely, it makes you appreciate how hard they work too. Mm -hmm. So what were some of the highs back then? You know, we'll get kind of into the pandemic. Yeah, I mean, uh, I mean, obviously, opening your own business is very exciting. Mm -hmm. And being young and uh, being able to grow with a business is very, very good. And it makes you proud and makes you... So the highs were the high of success. And we were growing, we were opening multiple locations, and it's, it was my drug mm -hmm. back then. I was working a lot. I, my relationship suffered a little bit, but this became my relationship, and yep. I was working in the store <laughs> for many, many hours. Um, and the highs now is the fact that we're still here, the fact that we're going through whatever life brings at us, and we're able to go through it with our team. so many people suffered during the pandemic what have you and your staff been able to do how did you kind of pivot in order to survive the pandemic when so many other businesses have closed well um, we luckily are both eating and take out so mm -hmm. um, our dining room has suffered greatly I mean nobody was coming into dining rooms we lost our dining staff and but instead of losing our dining staff, our staff shifted and started learning other positions and they started helping us. So you could repurpose them. Exactly, exactly. That's so cross-training was a very big, and at the same time, we didn't want to let go of anybody mm -hmm. because it's a pandemic. Yeah. <laughs> and we, we were just basically trying to keep everybody working as much as we can. And ours did suffer a little bit here and there. But takeout did help us because customers were not cooking. They weren't going to be home and cook. So yep. they were ordering out. <laughs> or they were cooking for the first few weeks and then after a while they were just like, oh exactly. my God, no. we're going to be doing this for months. <laughs> like, I need some pizza. Right, right. So uh, thankfully our delivery business increased and it helped us a little bit uh, to stay open. Uh, we were lucky to have both and we did curbside pickup. We were trying to keep customers as safe as possible while maintaining our business and being able to pay our bills and stay mm -hmm. I think we are towards the end of the pandemic. Hopefully, hopefully by September or so, things are going to be a little bit more normal. But we'll see where we go from here. Okay. We wish you the best as well, obviously. I appreciate it. Now, you mentioned getting this type of business started, it is a lot of work. Yes. Um, 
but hopefully you do like to enjoy yourself outside of the business you know is there anything you know you want people to know about you you know hobbies that you have or absolutely i uh i enjoy spending time with my kids i have very uh two young kids nora is four and adam is two and it's been the highlight of my life to mm -hmm. spend time with them and just teaching them little things building stuff with them or just playing in the yard with them it's really my hobby now uh, on a personal level i enjoy uh, fishing and uh, i don't have time for golf or anything like that but, <laughs> <laughs> but i do enjoy whenever i I'm invited on my father-in-law's boat. We go out oh, and nice. yeah, <laughs> we uh, go some flounder fishing. Nice. I enjoy that very much. Yeah. Now, what has been a customer favorite on the menu? Obviously, the pizza. I mean, that's, it's in our name, uh, but also our pasta dishes are very, very popular. Our ribs, believe it or not, are very, very popular. Really? Okay. Uh, and our cheesesteaks and their wings. What's your favorite order? My favorite, personally. Uh -huh. All of it. I love the menu. <laughs> <laughs> but if you had to tell someone coming in for the first time, and they were like, I'm really hungry, I don't know what to get. My my favorite, let's let's stick the pizza, is the okay. Mediterranean pizza. Our Mediterranean pizza, I think it's second to none. It's one of my favorite pizzas, yes. Yeah. Okay. Now, in terms of you know customer highlights over the year, you know what is something do you have a memorable experience with a particular customer or just something that kind of sticks in your mind? See, at Seasons, one thing that we do really well is that we create relationships with our customers. Mm -hmm. And I was able to create a few relationships over the year. And one of them, I mean, I don't want to mention names or anything, but our gluten-free pizza got introduced to our menu. So the customer loved our source so much, but their children didn't have it because mm -hmm. they have food allergies. food allergies. So I worked with that particular customer. We put the gluten-free pizza on our menu. He sourced up the product, the cheese, really? everything. And we worked on the process in the cook kitchen so there's no cross-contamination. Uh -huh. And it all happened here in Cherry Hill and it spread throughout our stores. So, for me, that's, I mean, the community doesn't get any better than this. No. no. <laughs> People just like, it's their own store. They come in here and they, they need something for their home, they introduce it right here at the restaurant. Exactly. And speaking of local, you know, this is their local store. Yes. Why is it so important to shop local and support your local businesses? I mean, for me, shopping local is shopping at your next door neighbor's house. Mm -hmm. I mean, I live in Cherry Hill, and uh, I don't now, unfortunately, but I live in Cherry Hill, and without people shopping here, I wouldn't have been able to pay my mortgage or my rent. Mm -hmm. So that's how it is important. That's why it is important to shop local. Thank you so much for doing this. Um, please, everybody, look up Seasons Pizza in Cherry Hill. And thank you again. It's Hillary Anson with parkbench.com slash Barclay. Thank, thank you, you so, so much. Thank you so much for traveling by, Hillary. My pleasure.